What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. This is a 12 box case. Picatines number two. Here we go, guys. Now remember, the non baseball is basically going to get everything that's not affiliated with any one of these teams. And in the item description, you can see all the non baseball spot cards that they get from the football players, the athletes, the celebrities, the musicians, from the DNA relics. The, uh, you know, cut signatures of players that are not MLB, um, <laughs> music to your ears, fun in the sun, all those other stuff that's not MLB. So that's a big spot. It's very pricey, but I think it ends up being worth it. So <clears throat> there you go there. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here's the case. Nice. Nice. All right. Most likely going to rip a couple of boxes at a time just to kind of make it speed up just a little bit, but it's going to take me about an hour and a half, guys. So sit back, relax, and have some fun. Because this break is fun, actually, guys. It's just very time consuming. It's a little draining at times, too, but it only comes out once a year, so. It's not that big of a deal. Now again, if we pull any rip cards and the customers are here watching and they want me to rip it for them, I'd be happy to do it. But if not, obviously, the customer would decide if they want to rip it themselves when they get it or if they want to sell it. All right, let's rip these ones out really quick. Verlander. <laughs> and Julio. All right, one box down, guys. Rip.
Check all the minis here at the end to see if there's any numbered minis. But you're supposed to get one hit per stack usually is on average what you get, but three in a total box though. Oh, here's one right here. It's a relic. Tony Gwynn. Nice. Frame mini relic of Tony Gwynn. For the Padres. Padres, that's going to Peoples. Peoples will enjoy that. He's a big Padres collector. Nice, man. Let's finish off that first stack. Hey, what's up, Mike? How you doing, man? The babes. The babes. Andres Jimenez frame mini for the Guardians going to Roger 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 So again, guys, we do have one more case, and I'm willing to do it today again, guys, but there just has to be a little bit of a deadline by like nine o'clock. So you guys have like two and a half hours to sell it out. So like I said, there's plenty of time, but just remember there will be like a deadline for something like that, because it will take about an hour and a half. <clears throat> and we got a Bamani Jones relic. So I'll go to the non-baseball slot. We got a Gary Sheffield relic. Young Gary Sheffield relic too. That's uh, Brewers. Gary Sheffield. Milwaukee Brewers is Richard Serrano. Anderson.
You got Riley Green Relic for Detroit. Tigers is Francis. stack here and then we'll be done with the first two boxes. And we got Cortez Relic for the Yankees. First two in the books, let's go with the next two boxes. Oh, nice. Got one of those N43 mini box toppers. Nice, we got a foil box. Sweet.
Okay. Next box. Next box. Yeah, Notre Dame's quarterback is playing terrible right now, but that run game, good lord. They're just running over Ohio State. Whoa, wow, we, we got my first booklet ever? Oh no, it's a piece of the, a loot? Wow, this is sick as hell. The genuine tops music to your ears. Is that, you saw, is that you call it? Is that you spell it? I mean, sorry, pronounce it? Loot? Lute? That's awesome. Out of 99. That's sweet. I thought that was a book the first second. Remember, that goes to uh, the non baseball. Yeah, it's like loot. Uh, <coughs> I have a gazillion slider boxes right here. Ugh. Loot. Well, there's like a, a protective like seal on top of it, but that's a piece right there, I guess, of it. Stuff like this, guys, it may be like weird, but probably sells pretty well. I wouldn't doubt it. I thought that was a book for a second. That would have been awesome. Yeah, no, that's, that's probably a pretty big hit, honestly. Like I said, it may feel weird to be like, what? That's a big hit? But it could be, man. They have, like, di a DNA relics, too, that you can pull. There's, like, a Trinosaurus Rex. Previous years, there was like really cool, like really cool ones, but this year I think they have like a saber tooth. Tooth. <sighs> yeah, no, I, I pulled one of those dino DNA relics like a few years back. Those are always pretty cool. Alright, here we go, guys. We got Rares of the Diamond strikeout game. Walker, Foil, Tovar. Uh, what channel is that on, Eric? If you give me the channel, maybe I will. We got Little Pudge. Yoshida, Hunter,
And woo! Frame mini autograph. Gorilla Nems, which is a rapper. Did he just write nah you? Let's see, let's look at this dude. Fight Club, Bing Bong is his catchphrase, don't ever disrespect me. So he's like a Brooklyn guy. That's cool. Again, another one for the non-MLB spot. I got USA or Peacock. I do have Peacock, but not on the TV here. I can check USA right now. Wolfie. Riley Green. And the Victor Webb and Yama. Take a look for you, Eric. Let's see. USA, they're not showing anything yet. At 7 o'clock, they have motorcycle racing. But not on my side. So maybe you guys get it early. Being on the East Coast and then West Coast season at 7. It will be seven in forty minutes and twenty minutes. And what's up, Roger? Uh, I ripped. This is about to be four boxes. You haven't really missed much. It's just time consuming. But I want to say you got a hit already, though. I think you got a Guardians autograph. No rip cards just yet. No rip cards just yet, but we did get some cool, interesting ones. We did get this autograph right now of this rapper, Gorilla Nems, and then we got a, a loot relic of an instrument. So, pretty cool. All right, next box. <clears throat> I 
I know, man. I hope you've been doing well. I've, I've been all right. I was a little, <laughs> a little sick. This last like two weeks, man. I had like strep, and it's finally going away. I had a second dose of antibiotics a couple days ago. That's really kicked that shit out of my system. So I just have like this little stupid chronic cough, just because like <clears throat> just triggers. But other than that, I've been all right. I'm just <laughs> same grind. Sandoval relic. And that is a Tom Sandoval. TV personality. Exactly what Jan said, Eric. Yep. Exactly. All right. See right here, looks like we might have a relic. It's green, so usually that means relic. And Tom Seaver for the Mets. Mini framed relic. What the hell? Cars sticking out. Hmm, that was interesting. Uh, Mets. That's Walter. is down guys still eight more to go <laughs> all right let's also rip these ones here i didn't rip these from the last one showtime showing otani there for the angels And a little Mookie. Alright. Next two. So after these two boxes, we'll be officially halfway.
This year? Do you know for sure? Because in previous years, I've always found the little ones always numbered sometimes. So I'd rather just double check on camera. Because in previous years, I've been doing this since 2015. The little minis can be numbered too. But if they switched it up, then I don't gotta do that no more. Ooh. <laughs> and Giancarlo Stan. Framed mini relic. Bogarts. Ooh, might have a nice one coming out. Might have a nice one. <clears throat> nice rip card. Rip it or keep it. It's a one ninety nine Dale. <clears throat> Jeffrey Jeffrey S yes. if you're here let me know if you want me to rip it if not you can rip it yourself that's uh, Bayron Bello rookie rip card Excuse me, Relic Mitt where uh Mitt where oh, Merrifield. Whit Merrifield, I'll say Mitt Merrifield. Uh Blue Jay is going to Victor. Take like 10 seconds looking through it, but thanks to yeah, Jan. It's just a habit now. All right, let's move on. Dennis Eckersley, but that's a Boston Red Sox edition. Red Sox again, Jeffrey. Gunnar Henderson. Gunnar Henderson. 
And another rip. Rip it. Oh, keep it. Cabrera. For the Yanks. Yankees. Let's go to Matt Smith. Let me know if you're watching Matt Smith. If you want me to rip that. If not, all good. I always will ask, though. I could become a surgeon again. <coughs> oh snap you watching that you see you can rip it damn that should be fun all right i'll do it right now after this people still sell the cards ripped anyways so you can also still sell how to sell a card You know, if it was like a Volpe or a much bigger rookie or bigger player, then maybe you can keep it sealed and sell it for a lot more. But I don't know. I always say, like, if it's like a cheaper rookie or not even that, just give it a shot. You never know. There might be something better in there. But either way, it's still going to be an exclusive uh, short printed mini in there. So let's just hope for a good player. Yeah, people do that too. I, that, that, I feel like that's a little bit more weirder, but uh, the rip cards, I've seen them sell ripped, and people will buy them. Like I said, people are big set collectors for uh, Allen and Ginter. It's just weird. Like, they like to collect the whole set, so, you know. Still, really cool. All right, cool. Well, let's do it, guys. Hell yeah. So Matt said we can rip it. Awesome. I'll do my best to be the best surgeon possible for Oswaldo Cabrera. So obviously, like I said, you're going to look for potentially a red mini exclusive auto, uh, exclusive mini, a mini wood, mini metal, or one of a kind sketch. And it does give you like a little bit of a, a little angle right here to kind of start the ripping. So it makes it a little bit easier for me. Here we go, man. Good luck. All right. By the looks of it, that looks like Boba Shat. So maybe a little bit better. There you go, little Boba Shat. So that's a, uh, anything over 300, I believe, was also a short print, so that's a mini Boba Chef short print. <laughs> so there you go. So I'm going to keep this together with it, so that way, obviously, that is still stays yours. It's not going to go to the Blue Jays, obviously, the victor. So that way, the shipping team knows that. <laughs> I don't want it to potentially ship to them, but... Like I said, these two stay together. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was fun. All right. So, like I said, these two will stay together. Anyway, that's the rip card. There's that. 
Where's that? Awesome. Alright, cool. Well, like I said, I mean, there's still chances to have more rip cards. If uh, we pull some more, or potentially customers that already have a rip card in this break want to open it up. Another one. Alright, there you go. Box loader of uh, Mike Trout. Let's open up this one here. And I'm Bob Morcho Otani. <clears throat> yeah, that was a penalty, bro. Alright, halfway through, guys. I'm like literally right at the 44 minute mark, so. <clears throat> hour and a half for these breaks for show. And like I said, we are down to like five or six left on the next one. I'm down to rip that one too tonight if you guys want. But just remember, I mean, I have to have like a hard deadline on that because. It is going to take a little bit of time. We're down to seven. So, <clears throat> after this, I'm going to take a break, but still have plenty of time to try to sell that out. <laughs> so, you have like two hours to potentially sell it out. Wow, Notre Dame finally threw a good ball. We've just been running it all day. Uh, there was something else going on there. What did I say it was? I don't know. I don't remember what it was. Supercross was starting at 7, Eric, but there was something else on. I don't know what it was. Notre Dame driving. Uh, imagine Notre Dame beats Ohio State with just running the ball. Oh, that drinks it. Penalty. Pass interference. Defense. Number four. A oh, holding. That's a 10 yard penalty. Automatic first down. I can be a ref. <clears throat> Holding offense. I'm a 67. That's a 15 yard penalty. Um, I don't know if I heard they were suing them, but didn't they terminate their contract too? I don't know what the hell's going on over there, dude. It's crazy. But no, I didn't know if they were suing them though. Did they really? For what though? Yeah, you like motorcycles? I never really got into motorcycles. When I was younger, in my teenage years, uh, I did have some like ETV quads with my cousin, so we'd always go to like Pismo Beach or uh, 
Dumont, Glamis. Warrants of Quads. I did some analyzing on the Justin Fields situation, thinking like, okay, is it really just the Bears that are really bad? But no, it's Justin Fields, man. He's he is just blowing right now. I like to follow Brian Baldinger. He always likes to break down plays. My God, Justin Fields is just playing so horrible right now. He is not taking the Jalen Hurts leap at all. Now there's some things that the Bears obviously are not helping him out with, but. There was a lot of plays in last week's game where he could have freaking done well. His vision is horrible. All right. So, yeah. Maybe we were wrong on Justin Fields. Green. So they're the same Adam was the Cubs, Rex. Bears gonna Bears, Cubs gonna Cubs. <laughs> At least they got the Bulls and the Blackhawks. That's crazy, uh, Jan. Just like, I'm gonna sue you. Kodai Senga. Ooh, wow, these are tough to hit right here. Nine out of 10, mini red ink autograph for the Mets. Walter, a nice break for you. Man. That's sweet. This dude is legit. Rod Relic. Switch to your motocross. Let's see what this is about. 242! 
What started out as a concept is now a reality. This is the Super Motocross World Championship finale and the first of two 20 minute plus one light photos. 20 minutes? champion Deegan is that Haley Deegan's brother Nems got a rug and an auto Oh, is that right? I know Haley. <laughs> we got right. Nice break for the Mets. <laughs> Oh, it's sick. They have it going through like the Coliseum Coliseum. That's pretty cool. Oh. Right, I'm going to go back to the Notre Dame game though because that one's a little closer. 10-14, does Ohio State take the lead, guys? D, Ohio State. And we got Bryson Stott, frame mini autograph for Philly. Scott with the Philadelphia Phillies. Dijon, Paul Dijon relic. Wow, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Jeez. Fourteen ten with Ohio State driving at the thirty. With six minutes left in the fourth. So it's gonna come down to the wire. Number six versus number nine.
Alrighty, let's rip these two right here. It's been a big defensive battle, man. And Bryce Harper. Alrighty, four more boxes to go, guys. We are almost there, guys. Wander Franco. It looks like it's a little stained, but I think that's just a card. Go, go, go! First down. No, wow. I'm calling them down at before the first down. Third and two. Sure. Especially since your thing will probably take a little longer. Wow, big decision here. Do you kick a field goal, hope to stop Notre Dame, and then you win with a field goal again, or you go for it, and potentially this could be the game right here. They're going for it. Ah, uh, they're just trying to get them off sides. Keep my mouth shut for you, Phil. I hate to be that guy. But it's so funny because usually it's you guys that are ahead of me. I'll count 10 Mississippis before I say anything, okay?
<laughs> I can't stop the TV from saying it before me, though. And now her dang got to stop! <laughs> I think I gave you like 20 seconds in between. They stopped them. <laughs> They're trying to say this product is long as hell. Cause I've done did everything for the rest of the day. And uh, you still rip in the same break. That's what I'm telling you guys. If you guys want to do the second one, I'm all for it, but I'm not going to stay past 11 today. So if it doesn't sell by like 9, 9.30 the latest, I'm, I'm not going to break it. So you guys have plenty of time to sell six more teams if you guys want to see it tonight. If you guys don't want to see it tonight, well, then that opens up a lot of other things for other breaks to happen, guys. So, but like I said, I, I'm going to be very strict with it. So it's only fair. I'll do it, but just not <laughs> gonna do it where I'm gonna stay extra. I stayed a little extra yesterday. And we've had most of the day to sell out both of them. All right, let's continue on, guys. You need help, Relic. I love how I just said that and Dustin just literally bought it all out. <laughs> love it. All right, you guys will definitely be able to see number three. Say thank you to Dustin, guys. Thanks, Dustin. Now I can mentally prepare for my break to come back and just, just rip this. And a Mike Trout rip card. There you go. 99 out of 99. Last year of him in an Angels uniform? I think that's more likely to happen. That's going to go to Kenneth. And I don't know if I'd want to rip this, but if you wanted me to rip it, I will. But I don't know. I always, I always feel like it's like I'm afraid to rip these ones because it's Mike Trout. But then what if it's like a scam where it's like. Oh, it's Mike Trout. You shouldn't rip it, but then there's actually a one-on-one -on -one in here. So there you go. That's our third rip card of this break. Worth. All right, but I'm going to take a little bit of a break, though, after this. So I won't do that uh, next Allen and Ginter for a little bit, though. But it definitely will be happening tonight, though. Oh, show. Yes, double rip cards are cool. Usually those are out of five. A buddy of mine, I was ripping Alan Ginter with him back in like 20, like 13 or 14. I want to say. I don't remember what year it was, but. He pulled a, uh, he pulled a nice, I think it was 14 or 15, one of those years. He pulled a nice double rip card of Trout and pool holes out of five. That shit was sick. And then we have a yawn, which is a Captain Sandy yawn personality, TV personality. The YT is no on on Sundays for now. So YT not on Sundays, Fanatics not on on Saturdays. So it's actually good that you guys got the Allen and Ginter done, because if not, I would have sat there until Monday. 
sure that we would love to be seven days a week but you know with people's schedules and just not not many people available to break on the weekends so we might have to bring someone in specifically to want to break on the weekends nobody wants to work on the weekends oh 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 Riley. Guinness has always been about community and friendship. Part of caring for the people. To enjoy alcohol responsibly. So Guinness We love our house. It's on the great block, Tree Line Street. The neighbors are a church. And we're back at the Sullivan House. Yes, Lawn Day, she let the leaves are out. And we have a rookie autograph uh, mini frame of Tommy Henry for the Diamondbacks. Nice. one here guys and then we got two more boxes and Doc Gooden for the Mets relic there you go Two boxes, guys. Ooh. Rip it or keep it. That's a Tom Seaver box topper rip card. That is hand numbered 71 out of 99. And what a break for the Mets. Mets having a massive break. Walter. So if you decide to rip this yourself or you have allow me to do it. Uh, you get three mini ripped cards. You get one stained glass for sure, plus two additional exclusive mini parallels, which is a uh, wood, it can be metal, red ink, one of a kind. So this one has three of them. If not, we can send that to you and you can do that or sell it as is. Nice break for the Mets though. Yeah, they don't have that in a little package. <clears throat> it's just on its own. Uh, 
Ohio State getting the ball back. Ohio State got to get a touchdown, though. Mooks. there guys we almost there More for me, more for than you for you guys. We almost there. We almost there. <laughs> I'm like that little kid, you know, where he's like laughing when he's getting interviewed. <laughs> he just cries. No, honestly, I, I need to get a better chair. This 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 chair is old now. It sucks. So it makes the break a little bit more uncomfortable. And then I've been standing a lot actually breaking on the on the Fanatics live side because our table is like much better than this one. It's like literally has a motor to make the table go high. Well here it, it only cranks to a certain height and I'm too tall for it. Like for Joe, you know, a little shorter people, it's like perfect size. But I my back I'd be like this too much. So I can't really stand and break here. <clears throat> but over there on the Fanatics table I definitely can't. <laughs> on mute, Phil. <laughs> but who am I rooting for, though? Who are you rooting for? You uh, Irish or are you going for Buckeyes? <clears throat> Because I can react, but I'm like, you don't know who I'm rooting for.
Oh, okay, cool. But either way, I am ruining a good game. But I feel that, though. Same thing happens to me all the time. I I'm all, Like, the other day, I was watching the Eagles he gave me on Thursday. And uh, my Amazon Prime was, like, maybe 10, 15 seconds slower than you guys. And customers are like, touchdown! I'm like, shut up! <laughs> So I know what you mean. That's how I usually am during my Eagles games too. I'll be like, I just turn off, my, I'll, I'll literally turn off all my fantasy notifications. I'll turn off like any notifications I have on my phone because I hate it like if I get a, like a ringtone or a buzz and like freaking, then I already know either something good happened or something bad happened. And then I'm even more pissed when it's something bad. All right, here we go. Mini, Corbin Carroll. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, Salvador Perez Relic right there for the Kansas City Royals uh, Walter With that one <laughs> Alright good luck buddy <laughs> Just don't even look at my reaction either And I suggest you guys do the same. <laughs> if you guys are in the same boat where I'm like 10 seconds ahead of you guys. Yelly. Alright, ball game here, guys. What a clutch play. Oh my god! Jesus. My God, just mute me for the rest of the night until this game's over. Oh my God, are you guys watching this game? This is ridiculous. Number two, you better not regret it. Todd Helton. Oh, <laughs> this is a crazy game. Just to end the game, too. This is definitely a lot of adversity right here, man. This is this is like NFL right here. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh yeah. Woodruff. <clears throat> oh man, that's horrible. It's gonna be third down. Two right here, guys. Do what you gotta do, Eric. Everybody else, too. See how it goes right here. Good luck. Now we got Goldie Relic for the St. Louis Cardinals. Phil. I don't know what that means. Is he not supposed to be? the case oh right here <laughs> you mean why is it in the minis pile sorry I didn't realize that was in there <clears throat> alrighty guys we did it we did it we did it we did it all right Right, I'll do a quick recap of the hits right now, guys. What a game, though, guys. What a game. All right. Thank you, guys. This is it, guys. I mean, they might have time for two, two passing plays, but it's got to be in the end zone. Quick recap. Barato. There's a rip it. Trout, Nems, Wright, Autograph Stott, Dijon, Relic, Rodriguez. Red Ink Sango was really nice, actually. Uh, green. We did have a rip it card. <laughs> it was a mini Boba Shot. And hold up one second. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nope. Three seconds. <laughs> Three seconds left. Merrifield, Devers, another rip card there. Bale, Sandoval relic, Tom Seaver relic, Stanton relic, Ian Hap, Pudge, mini frame relic, Ian Hap, relic gone, autograph there, Henry, Nayu, 
Berlin Adams. We did have a relic here of a, of a music to my ear. It's music to your ears, relic right? like of a loot. Piece of a loot. Sheffield, Green, Cortez, Jimenez Auto, Win Relic, Bomani Jones Relic, Gooden, Perez. Oh my god! Walk off? Walk off. Yelich, Helton, Woodruff, and then a Goldschmidt Relic. So there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much. Number two is in the books. Number three is coming up next in a little bit, guys. Thank you. Oh, also two. We did get a uh, box topper real quick. Thanks, guys.